I made the mistake the third time in a row. Well, it doesn't fit. There are a lot of details. It turns out that Ukrainian puzzles can be really complicated. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Hey everyone, this is Kibastic. You all know that I'm a speedcuber from Ukraine, Kyiv. A few days ago I realized that I've never made a video dedicated to Ukrainian puzzles. And that's why there will be only Ukrainian puzzles on my desk today. All these puzzles that you see now are invented and made by Ukrainians. You have already seen some of them because they were in my past videos. For example, here are these amazing metal puzzles that look very cool and have a very high level of complexity. These are handmade puzzles by Ukrainian author Engineer Bruns. A few years ago I didn't know that our talented Ukrainian masters make such cool puzzles. I also have a couple of these little puzzles. They sometimes call them mini puzzles. All of them were also invited by Ukrainians, and today we will solve one of them, which is called Ukraine. By the way, there is a bonus. On the back of the box you can find an extra task. A riddle. And we will start with it to stretch our brains a little bit. So guys, a man bought a two and a half meter long rod and took it with him to the subway. Well, he was told that items longer than 2 meters 20 centimeters are prohibited. But it is possible for an additional fee to carry items which size is uh, from 120 by 120 by 120 centimeters to 150 by 150 by 150. The question is whether you can transport a rod using subway without breaking it, folding, bending and without breaking the rules of the metro. Write your answers and guesses in the comments and we will start solving a little puzzle called Ukraine, which is very well suited to the topic of today's video. Using these wooden parts we should fold this figure, which resembles the emblem of Ukraine and uh, the symbol of the armed forces of Ukraine, by the way. So let's try to do this. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces. They all uh, look alike. And I already understand that in order to solve this puzzle, we need to start building the shape that is symmetrical. So we're going to look for pieces of the same shape that will be placed symmetrically to each other. These are the same parts here, these are the same parts here, and these are the same, and these are two. These parts uh, don't have pairs, uh, so I think they will be somewhere in the center. And it's not that simple, <laughs> I already see the difficulties. Ok, let's just try and use some non-standard solutions. I believe there may be some secrets here, as in the letter T puzzle. I hope you remember the letter T puzzle, it just has the same type and it was really tricky too. I think there must be something like that. There's a one tricky detail that needs to be diagonalized. I think this puzzle is more complicated than it seems at first glance. I like it, because it means we're developing our brains. I don't even know if I should do symmetry or not. I tried to do it once, I failed, but let's try again. What if I put a big one here, a small one here, a big one here? Oh, it seems we have just solved the Ukraine puzzle. Yes, it is not very symmetrical, but look how beautiful it is. Did I do it right? I think I did. Yep, definitely. God, how nice it is to solve such beautiful puzzles, especially from my home country. You know, when I solve this puzzle, it seems to me that I support in this way the armed forces of Ukraine, which protect our country right now. And uh, if you guys want to support me, just like and subscribe to the channel. Let's continue solving Ukrainian puzzles, because that was just the beginning. Here I have a puzzle called the dormitory, and it's incredibly interesting. 
I want you to see what it looks like. This is such a box, it has such beautiful wooden details. By the way, very nice smell of wood. And we have these parts here. These parts have holes. And uh, these are uh, cylinder shaped details that I think should fit right here. The task of this puzzle is to place all the details in this square so that our dorm lid closes tightly. Let's try to do this very quickly at speed to see how quickly I can solve this puzzle. I press the start button and begin. You know, I've lived in a dorm uh, for 5 years and it really looks like something that happened there. Very different people in a very small building in a very different and not so comfortable rooms. So if these are the rooms and these are the tenants, let's try to settle them. Let's first see what kind of tenants do we have, whether they are all same or different. So we have this, uh, the thickest have different sizes, but look, these are the same three. There's uh, also average thickness and uh, they are all the same height. Well, do I understand it correctly? I think yes. Uh, we also have a thin students. Their parents probably didn't send them money. That's why they are really thin and among them there are two small and two tall. Let's divide them from first to fifth year of education. Freshmen are still so fat <laughs> and those who are already on the fifth year had already survived a bit of starvation. So let's settle our tenants. I also want to check the height of our box. Its height equals the height of the highest cylinder. You see, it closes tightly enough, so our highest cylinder is the maximum height. That's why all small students are able to live uh, on the second floor. Just take a look, one such plate makes our cylinders equal in height. Ok, I got the task on this puzzle. Uh, well, it took us uh, 2 minutes to figure it out. The first thing I want to do is try it randomly. Now it's very difficult to find the part that can be put here. Because uh, as you can see, this one doesn't fit. I have to move this cylinder somewhere, maybe here. And here comes uh, this thing. Next, we have to find the part for this case. And we don't have it. Although uh, there's nothing stopping us from uh, putting the skinniest guy in a room where he's got a lot of free space. This room is for medium guy, but this one fits in here and we are not prohibited to do that, so let's try this. Now I think it's right to do this. Put uh, two of our little ones in here and uh, try to cover the others. I can already see that something's wrong. We don't have a second floor on the far left. It doesn't fit here. Can we do this? I think yes, why not? Hmm, doesn't fit. Well, try again. Too many details, it is more difficult than I thought. We haven't yet checked if uh, there are identical stripes uh, that can be placed on each other. You know what else is complicated? That there are parts with four holes and uh, uh, there are these with three holes and even two. This means that we cannot settle any students here. I don't know what to do with these details. Let's put them at the bottom. I need to settle as many fat people as possible and preferably not to put them too close to each other because we don't have a lot of parts that have all three big holes in them. Hmm, 
it's an interesting idea to put them not just vertically, but horizontally. I have a question. Can I put two little ones in one big hole? Well, it's my style. I know uh, secrets like that can be used in some puzzles, but I don't know if you need to use such cheating methods to solve uh, this puzzle. Well, let's assume that I'm really smart. Let's move on. In this case, I have all the students settled in the dormitory. It remains only to add a few floors. Folks, I recommend you to check out my friend's channel about customization. It's really worth it. <laughs> it can be even lying there. <laughs> I think it makes it even easier to solve this task. <laughs> Damn, how clever I am. Okay, total randomness. I arranged them randomly in the bottom row. Okay, let's move on. How should I resettle you, damn it? That's why it has always been a problem for universities. Personally, I've already spent 19 minutes trying to resettle 13 students. <clears throat> so my intuitive tactics was wrong. It seems to me that this puzzle has an infinite number of solutions. And each of them is possible. But it's not that easy to do. Here is where the complexity of this puzzle lies. The big details need to be placed first. Oh. <laughs> It is impossible to do it so easily. It turns out that Ukrainian puzzles can be very difficult. So what do we have? I've been trying to settle the students for half an hour and I realized uh, that we have a shortage of big holes. Because uh, we have a lot of these uh, fat students and they need to be put somewhere. They can't be placed close to each other because we don't have much space and we don't have many floors that have two big rooms next to each other. Because of this, puzzle becomes very difficult. Too many students, as it turned out. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, but I'm still trying to solve this puzzle. I've decided to continue solving outside the frame. I think it will be easier. I remember the size it has, so I think it won't be a problem. Really difficult. I have a good idea, let's put our cylinders diagonally and we're going to have a situation where none of the rows has two thick cylinders, so we can save the strips with big holes. This will make it easier for us, because we don't need a single floor with two large rooms. That's what I mean. Here we go. And then we place the floors starting from the large cylinders. We placed all the mediocre cylinders and uh, there are three holes left for the smallest. Here, here and here. It doesn't matter where we put them. I think we are close to a solution, there's not much options left, but I'm not sure I have enough. <gasps> Guys, just look at this, take a look at this. I need one more big hole, only one, what is that? How did that happen? We couldn't solve the puzzle because of one big hole. <laughs> Ouch something went wrong. I figured the hardest part is the upper floors. My next video will be dedicated to fruit puzzles. There will be not just an ordinary video, there will be grandeur of beauty, so subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. Guys, I want to tell you that it's very difficult. And I think I'm about to solve this puzzle, yes! We have one of the smallest students left, and we can easily put him here. 
The puzzle is solved, but right now we need to put it all inside so it doesn't fall apart. It's so difficult to do, why I decided to solve it outside the frame? I had to solve it as it was. Damn, I hate myself for this decision. How stupid it was to solve a puzzle and not be able to put all the details in place. You know, this challenge not only for logic, but also for sleight of hands or skillful fingers. I don't know if there's an uh, award uh, for the most crooked hands, but if there was, I would definitely get it. Jeez, what should I do? I feel helpless. <laughs> okay, the puzzle is solved. I suggest doing this way. And the main thing now is not to lose anything. Already something has fallen out, I feel it. <laughs> God, it is still not sold. Where were these cylinders? Tell me. This one here, does it fit? Yep, and uh, there are the smallest one. The smallest ones uh, should fit, I'm sure. This one should be here, as I understand. Come on! There's a relocation in our dorm. I made a mistake somewhere. And now I have to do it all over again. Okay, this one goes here. Where is this one? Here. No, it doesn't. Somehow it has to be. Damn. Damn, I've just done it. Oh, this is how it fits. Come on, come on, come on. Last room. And this detail. Yes, that's it. I close the lid. The dorm is full of students, welcome to the dorm and have some tea or something stronger. I spent uh, 51 minutes of my life and I'll tell you, it was worth it. I really liked this puzzle, it looked very simple, but it was really difficult. And now all our tenants, all the students are housed in their dorm rooms. And I want to remind you that today we have solved the puzzle called Ukraine and the most attentive of you have already noticed this F puzzle. Yes, I've already made a video about this puzzle. But uh, this puzzle is 3D printed. I printed this nice looking puzzle myself. And that means that this puzzle is also made in Ukraine. Guys, soon we will be solving the same 3D printed puzzles that I myself have printed in Ukraine. And one of these puzzles is ready for another video. So subscribe to my channel, check for updates, like, write comments and go to my other videos that will appear on your screens in few seconds. Guys, I will be so grateful if you become my subscribers. See you very soon, that was Kibastic. Bye everyone and have a good time. Ooh, that was tough. More than an hour of filming. Well done.